Hello, it's Spence, the evil genius, with your lab secrets tip of the day. Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how we're going to quick launch our latest release, which is Pinboard Labza. It's a nice little bundle we've put together to allow somebody to easily monetize a niche WordPress site. In this case, we're doing an example of ear cleaning videos, a relaxing and ancient art. But in any event, your content can be easily swapped in for this. And with quick launch, you're gonna save all the time and aggravation of setting up the theme and the plugins and making everything just right. Instead, in under three minutes or less, as you'll see in a second, you're gonna be up and running. Very easy. All right, so this is our model. Now let's get started. You wanna visit labzip.com and go to our shop where you can pick up a copy of the Pinboard LabZip Quick Launch. And that means it's the version that's ready to use. Once you've paid and downloaded it, you're going to have a file on your site that we're going to use next. By the way, if you don't have hosting, we recommend that the best way to get these niche sites going is on Bluehost. We've got a special link there at labzip.com slash hosting that'll take you to Bluehost where you have a deal that looks like this. It's about five bucks a month. And quite honestly, they just do a really, really good job there. So for anybody that uh, needs hosting, check them out via that link. Get a special deal. If not, feel free to do it on any WordPress self-hosted site. Once you've got the file, the next step is we're going to go ahead and use our favorite tool, which is Manage WP. Manage WP has free plan up to five sites. And that's what you're going to use to launch the new quick launch uh, LabZip file. All right, we've shown this in other videos, but follow along. It's a very powerful tool, and we recommend that once you try this, you're going to end up wanting to purchase probably something for yourself because they've got features that make all of WordPress management easy. Now, we've got the basics set up. Let's get started. If I'm going to go to Bluehost, when I go ahead and sign up, it's going to take me to a form you've probably seen before, and it's really simple. I have a domain.com. It's just a made-up name, of course, but the idea is it's really simple with Bluehost. You just go ahead and click. And I'll check to make sure that no other clients have that. Now you can go ahead and put in your information, your name, your last name, you know the rest of this. Once you fill out the rest of the form here, you can choose your plan. And like I mentioned, it's about five bucks if you go with their 36 month plan and you can cancel at any time. They have a money back guarantee. Uh, you can get these extra features or not. Pay with credit card, Visa, MasterCard. I think you know the drill. And once you go through that, they're gonna send you a confirmation that'll give you login to what is called the cPanel. And that's what I'm gonna show you next. Okay, so now we're in the cPanel and with Bluehost, it's real simple to get started. You're just gonna scroll down and you're gonna go looking for something here called Simple Scripts. And that's where we'll be able to find our WordPress installation mode. So when we go down, we'll see another link here that says WordPress. You'll click on that and it'll take you through the steps where you click on install. It's really, really simple. You can have some optional stuff that you don't necessarily need here. And if you have multiple domains, you can choose them. But here I'm just going to use this demo. And the version, of course, is the newest one. Click on I've read Terms of Service, hit Complete, and you're ready to go. It's going to launch the WordPress site. Now we're ready for the next step. Okay, once we've finished our installation through Bluehost, we're going to have a basic WordPress site that looks just like this. So we're going to scroll down, and we're going to log in using this login link. And we're going to use the username and password that we've set up for all quick launch uh, bundles. So you're going to use your name and your password, your name, your password. Log in and you'll see what's called the dashboard. All right, this is the point at which I'm gonna give you the three minute challenge. You'll notice I'm adding a stopwatch here. We're gonna start it and we're gonna get going and I'm almost 100% sure we're gonna beat the clock by a good margin. Are you ready? Let's rock and roll. All right, click start, let's go. First thing we need to do is upload that file to our library. So we go media, add new, we're gonna drag that Pinboard LabZip file here. And I have a reasonably fast internet connection, but it's just a regular DSL stuff. I think the file varies in size. In this case, it's not too big. It's about 25 megabytes. And we're going to include that in our time just to be fair about it. Okay, and there we go, 100%. Next step, I'm going to grab the URL or the location of that file I just uploaded. All right, and I'm going to need this in a second. So I just copied it to my clipboard. If you want, I can right clip and show you copy. Okay, next step, I need to install the Manage WP plugin. So I go plugins, install plugins. I'm going to go ahead and add new. I'm going to type manage, whoops, manage WP. Install it now. 
Now again, I already have a Manage WP account, of course, but if you don't have one, just get one for free and you'll be in the same spot. We now click on Manage WP to add this to my site. And here I'm gonna go ahead and say, add my first website. And this is called Lab Playground. And your name is the administrator name that I just set up. Okay, now I'm ready to go. I say back to dashboard. Here's the fun part. I use install or clone WordPress. I'm going to actually paste in what I just had copied, remember from the media library, and click accept. Next, I'm gonna say destinations in existing site. I'm gonna type in the admin name of your name and the password of your password, remember. I'm gonna select the lab playground site and ready, here we go, it's a minute 56. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, done, that's it. Pause. Two minutes and five seconds. And you know what? Watch what happens. Watch what happens. I'm going to go over to our site. I'm going to refresh the home page. And look what we got. We've got an exact clone of our original. This is ear cleaning, and this is the new site. That's it. Two minutes and five seconds, and I've just quick launched the entire site ready to use for you to log in and use those credentials, by the way. You're going to use the your name and your password. And once you do, as I'll show you, you go to WP Admin. I log in with your name, your password. It's going to show me the dashboard. And at that point, I can go ahead and add a new user, which will be my real admin name. So your real admin name and password and so on. And then you can go back and delete the original one that we give you called your name. Make sense? It's been my pleasure to show you this new method called LabZip Quick Launch. We encourage you to give this a try. This is really gonna revolutionize the way you get started with building niche sites, whether it be with a pinboard theme or others. If you have any questions, you can reach me at labzip.com. This is Spence, the evil genius. We'll see you next time.